Hi friends, I hope you guys are doing well. Things have been really busy here and a little bit overwhelming, but I came across some footage I wanted to share with you from before I was a YouTuber. This was a very special time in my life because my kids really liked hanging out with me, like all of them did. And they would come home from school and I would make them hot chocolate. And I always knew they were gonna be home for dinner and if I wanted to do something fun, like go swimming or go to the park or anything like that, we all went. There was never this argument about whether anyone felt like doing it or not. And now that I have teenagers and younger kids, it's really hard to get everyone on board. Even if it's just doing something at home, like, do you want to play a game? Do you want to come outside and roast marshmallows with me? Sometimes we'll watch a movie together, but that doesn't really feel like that much of a bonding experience. And I feel like we watch so much TV. A couple summers ago, I said, okay, this Friday, your dad's taking the day off and we are going to do something as a family. So let's pick something. I thought a trip to the ocean would be really fun, but a couple people didn't want to do that. And finally, we settled on the zoo which I was really surprised about because even the older kids wanted to do that. But that's actually quite expensive. And I bought a zoo pass because it actually made more financial sense to do that. And then I took the girls a couple more times. Also, it's a long drive to the zoo, so that's more gas money too. I just really miss the days where we did stuff together all the time, like almost every day. We had tennis courts behind our apartments, and so we would go out there and maybe just play catch or tennis or ride our bikes on the tennis court, which I think technically you weren't supposed to do, but <laughs> it was one of those things that everybody did. And as much as I like having extra time with my family right now, I don't like that it's for a sad reason. But years ago, there was this time we had so much snow that my husband couldn't even go to work because they closed the roads to get down the hill. And that was such a special time and one of my favorite memories. And right by the tennis courts, there was this reservoir and this driveway that went down the hill to it. And it was the perfect sledding hill within walking distance of our apartment. And Carmen was still a baby. So for a good while, I was known as a boy mom. And those years also just really like broke me in as a mom. <laughs> the boys were so cute, but they were also really challenging. Especially the time I broke my foot and I was on crutches for four months. But that's a whole other video right there. And that's not something I ever want to go through again. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this footage of us sledding. When I watched it, it made me feel happy and it reminded me of good times, of being able to go outside and not worry that you're breaking some sort of law. And according to our governor, the parks are going to be reopened on May 5th. And hopefully no one will ruin that for us. It's Carmen's first snow today. Well, first major snow. And the boys are sledding. And they're using their uh, toy box lid. Fun. Okay. Mom and Eric are going down in the sled. I can't get moving. <laughs> this is not very eventful. <laughs> okay, Eric, let's scooch back. There goes Jared on our awesome Rubbermaid lid. <laughs> That's not a recording camera. It's recording right now. Jeez. What? You think I'm silly? It, it's recording, honest. That's not a recording camera. That's what you think. Jared is not getting far. Here comes Andrew. This is going to be really exciting. He doesn't want to go very fast, I don't think. <laughs> oh 
Oh good, I didn't ruin my camera. <laughs> Here comes Jared. <laughs> It's Eric. Fun. Here comes Andrew. <laughs>